Hello, my wonderful sweet dreamers. I am at 900 plus subscribers, so yes. So I'm, I'm heading on up there. Um, I want to give my sincerest appreciation, my greatest appreciation to everyone for helping to grow my channel, sharing my videos, like liking them. Let me get in a better position here, my back and hip. All right, I had to put a bottle behind my back and hip because that helps out the sciatic nerve. But I really just, I'm grateful for all of you. I mean, this couldn't be possible without you. Um, right now I'm out here sitting in these, the patio, it is one of the two patio chairs. I have these, uh, these two chairs here, right here, this one, and the one that I'm sitting in currently. These, Tom's taking residence in this one right now. Aren't you kidding? Anyway. He's got his eyes on something. What, but he's got his eyes on something. He's got his eyes on something. That vehicle was unnecessarily loud. I had to stop the video, but um, the front and back roads are quite busy right now. Look at Tom here. Tom is observing the another car, another truck. I'm just gonna do the back facing camera. A lot of traffic in the front and the back. Let me pause it and wait because I hear more vehicles. All right, it's rush hour in the front road. The back road is bad, is yeah, worse than usual, but the back road settled down a bit. And the front road is is the only one that's got traffic right now. So when they built this house that we live at, we only had the back road and the old highway. Then they built the new highway. And now we're in between two roads, between a new highway and the old highway, so that's that's why there's two roads. And the back road is where the driveway is, and the front road, they've got a short little, little bitty driveway. That's it. You know, it's weird. You park in a, in a park, you drive in a parkway, and you park in a parkway. Have you ever thought about that before? You park in a driveway and you drive in a parkway. Kind of weird, right? But the, um, the thing is, it's been, um, it's been so nice to have the sunshine. It's going away Saturday night, and then the cold winter air returns, but it's, it's been nice to see 70s, 80s. It's been about 80 degrees for the past three days, so it's been nice. Um, that's been really, really enjoyable. I didn't get to enjoy it today because I had to rest a lot. I had to rest for my back, my hips, my knees, my legs, all that stuff, do my stretches and all that. But I'm hanging in there. I'm I'm hanging in there. I I uh I wanted to make a um that ear uh, doctor role play video, but I can't find the ear scope. I cannot find that ear scope, and I I was like, what did I do with that thing? But I can't find it to save my life. So, but these two outdoor chairs, these two patio chairs, they are awesome. I put them outside and um, I've been sitting on them. We have two metal chairs at the porch, but I like these because they've got a nice, they're nice and sturdy. And um, that's what we need. And I've used them, I've used the heck out of them. I shared about that scenario yesterday in my previous video. This guy went out yelling and cussing like crazy and then uh, ran this person into the convenience store at gas, slash gas station, the Speedway. He ran them in there. I was just going to go in there, use their restroom, and then come back out. And I thought, well, I'm going to get me some, I'm going to get a, uh, a one of those naked drinks. And uh, that's what I did. Got one of those for my mama and one for me. And they just started... I mean, he came in, and then they, they, he started attacking the guy. The, the guy at the counter stopped the whole scenario. Police came, but by the time they came, the other guy was gone down the alleyway. And he was threatening his life, saying he was going to shoot him. I've got a gun. And uh, calling him a B-A-N and 
calling him names like crazy, using, uh, I see, he was using, uh, certain words that, uh, even if, even if, uh, I don't think, he, I'll just talk about that in another video, but he was using, he was just doing all kinds of stuff, yelling at him, and, uh, beating him up, but they had the paramedics check him out, but, and they just left at the scene, so, no one pressed charges. I mean, they really can't do much when you don't press charges. I guess because they were all guilty of something, so they just let it go. But, anyway, um, there's another vehicle coming this way now. Okay, he's gonna go the other way. Nope. Like, see, there, there's an old road there, and the vehicle, the traffic, sometimes goes this way. And sometimes it goes the other way. I mean, what am I saying? Sometimes there's a lot of traffic on this road. This much, not as much as there is right now. And that's what's going on right now. That's what's why there's so much noise. There's traffic on the main road, traffic on the old road. But yeah. And now there's a plane going over too, so. Um, I've been keeping up with that old Russia-Ukraine crap. That's awful. My thoughts and prayers and love go to everyone. We need diplomatic action on that. We need actual action. Um, that, but they they claim they can't help him help them. And he's tried to join NATO many many times, but they said, oh, it takes years for the process. Just sign a piece of paper and do it. Anyway, you know, help the person, help the people. But it fits right into their plans, I think. Sadly. All right, but you know what? Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. <laughs> peace and love. It's been, uh, it's been so lovely this week, though. I tell you, it's been awesome this week. Uh, but I will say all of my love goes out to everyone dealing with that whole Russia-Ukrainian crisis. And uh, all unwanted casualties on both sides. Because you know good and well a lot of those soldiers and their families don't want to be involved in that. Uh, it's just sad. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> But, yeah, um, this chair makes some nice metal tapping sounds as well. So I might be able to do that in the background and let you hear that. Let you hear that a little bit. Or shit, you shaved your beard. Yes, that's right. I shaved my beard. I did. I shaved it yesterday. I shaved my beard last night. <clears throat> it's so nice in, in late spring, summer-like. It got to right at 80 degrees today, and the, uh, it was a little bit hot, and there's a little bit of sun yesterday, but it felt like you could feel the UV index from the sun, but I wasn't able to be out today because of my, my pains, but I, and I needed rest to re recuperate from what I've been going through, and, uh, we had a busy day yesterday, but... There's more traffic on this old road already. Okay, they're turning. They're turning onto the main road. But uh, it's crazy. There's been a lot of traffic. But the um, the weather. Man, I wish it would stay pleasant like this. It's just cool enough at night to feel nice and cool on the body, but not like brr, freezing cold. And it's just. It's just warm enough. Whoops. Yeah, you know, this steadier. It's just almost dropped, but it's just warm enough to to be nice and pleasant. It's not too hot and it's not too cold at night. So, what's the weather like in your area? I'd like to know. I'd like to know what it's like in your area. Um, it's been really nice here, and I hope it stays that way because. We definitely needed it. Days ago, like I shared online, uh, last week we went to, we got these chairs last week too, but last week we went to uh, a couple of restaurants for the first time. We haven't been to restaurants since that whole situation started a couple of years ago. Back since the whole 2020 craziness happened, we haven't, my father wanted to go to a Chinese buffet for the first time, and in many years, and then he, we went to this Mexican restaurant um, on last Friday, yeah, last Friday, and just five miles north of here, so we enjoyed the days, so let me know what you've been up to, let me
let me know if you've been enjoying and I'm going to try to 